in Romanian mythology. Estragoi are spirits of the dead that rise from the grave. Some of the attributes of a Strigoi is the ability to transform into an animal, invisibility, and draining their victim's blood. The Strigoi are the predecessors of the modern day vampire. In 1672, in a village in Istria, which is now modern day Croatia, a villager named Gerard Grando died in 1656 and was buried in the local cemetery. He may be the first person in history to be described as a Strigoi. The film Nosferatu is loosely based on him. It is reported that 16 years after his death, he terrorized the village. He no longer looked the same as he did 16 years prior. The common look of a Strigoi is pale to pink skin, the loss of a nose, a thin stature. He would walk from door to door, knocking, to see if anyone would invite him in. You have to invite a Strigoi before he can step foot inside your house. Another thing that can stop them is garlic. Many people have it around the doors and windows to prevent them from coming in. Another thing that can stop them is to throw seeds or rice on the ground. A Strigoi would stop and pick them up one by one, counting them. The village priest, Father Giorgio, buried Gerard 16 years prior. The priest had heard rumors of somebody walking around town, knocking on doors. He warned his sermon to keep their doors locked and hang garlic around their house. Shortly after the first sighting, the Strigoi enters the bedroom of his widow. She described him as looking like a corpse and grinning the entire time. After Father Giorgio learns of this, he sets up his own stakeout the next night. I'm not going to say it's Strakoi, but it's Strakoi. When Father Giorgio comes face to face with this creature, he holds out his cross in front of him and banishes him to stop tormenting the village. The Strigoi lunges forward, setting the cross on fire. The father holds his ground, banishing the creature. It runs away to the cemetery. One of the villagers goes up to the cemetery to his coffin, taking a hawthorn stick with him. He opens the coffin and attempts to pierce the heart. But fails when the stick breaks from the Strigoi's chest. One night later, nine villagers go to the cemetery to open the coffin. 
When they pry open the coffin, they see that the Strigoi has a smile on its face as it's resting. One of them takes a hawthorn stick and tries to pierce the skin, but fails like the previous night. Father Giorgio starts on some exorcism prayers. During the prayers, one of the villagers takes a saw and decapitates the Strigoi's head. According to legend, after the decapitation of Gerard's head, peace finally came back to the small village.